Hey everyone, welcome back to SudoTech. Today I'm going to be quickly showing you how to install the GNOME desktop on Ubuntu. Now this is a newly created Ubuntu virtual machine, as you can see from the toolbar down here, of 17.04, which is the latest release of Ubuntu, pretty fresh, pretty new, and unlike um, what future revisions of Ubuntu are probably going to have, this one still has the good old regular Ubuntu GUI instead of GNOME. Um, personally, I'm fine with the Ubuntu GUI. Um, but I prefer GNOME a bit, so we're going to be installing GNOME today, and it's actually a fairly simple process. So to do this, we just have to install two packages. So just do sudo apt or apt-get um, update. And that'll update all of your repositories, make sure it's got the latest versions of packages. Um, we're able to upgrade right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and skip that. We're going to do install, we're going to do gnome, and we don't want that, it's gnome-shell, so as you can see it's coming up right over there, and we're also going to want ubuntu-gnome, there's a couple of options here, and we just want the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and install those, lots of dependencies. Um, but that's to be expected since this is a fairly new installation and I don't have many libraries installed. Just going to go ahead and wait for that. We have a few options for display managers that are going to come up. I'm just going to go with LightDM. And with that, they should be installed. I'm just going to do exit to get out of the terminal and then we're going to want to log out of our current session. So now as you can see, we should have this little icon here that shows Ubuntu, and we've also got GNOME Classic, GNOME on Wayland, and the Unity 8. We're going to go to the GNOME, and then type in your password. And just like that, it should load up with the welcome stream to GNOME. Um, the keyboard looks pretty good. Privacy, let's just yeah, let's turn the location services off. We don't need to connect any accounts right now, and we're good to go. So this is still the full Ubuntu environment. We still have access to all of the normal you know, Ubuntu applications and the, um, the different repositories that are available to Ubuntu, which is kind of nice. But as you can see, it's on this GNOME interface, which I prefer. It's got your screens over here, your different desktops, applications, full kind of app drawer idea here. Actually, it looks like we've got a Leica in the photos. Anyway, that's about it. If you like GNOME, then here's how to get onto Ubuntu or really any other Linux distribution. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next video.